Okay, we've got some more FM24 news coming in. This seems like a small update. It's quality of life upgrades that Miles posts over on the blog. He did put a blog post the other day, so we'll have a quick look at that as well, which explains a few things. But I think this update today has one of the weirdest updates and one of like, the most pointless features that they've ever added. So we'll have a look at that. If though you are excited about FM24, I'm excited about FM24. I'll be honest, I'm excited about it. I'm looking forward to playing it. Other than playing Southampton as the beta, I'm looking forward to it. If you're excited like me for FM24, make sure you use the code so Magio 24 down in the link in the description to go to Fanatical to get the game for 22% off the Steam price at £35 and 5 pence. If you've not done it yet, you've got probably got about a week and a half left to do it to get the early access. That will get you the early access, by the way, and it is a Sega approved retailer, so no dodgy keys there. So let's go have a look at this latest quality of life upgrade post. Okay, here we are. This is the quality of life upgrades part one. So or he, these are normally the smaller things that they put in. He's just saying that there's small changes. So what do we have? We have first, first thing, fixture scheduling. Scheduling, how do you say that word? Let me, I was gonna say, let me know down in the comments below. You're not gonna be able to let me know down in the comments below because you're just gonna write scheduling, aren't you? I will guess I'll have to forvo it. Anyway, fixture scheduling. A lot of issues relate to fixture congestion have been fixed. Hopefully around the Club World Cup, that one is the worst, particularly for those clubs competing in continental club competitions. So if you're playing in multiple competitions in FM24, you should now have fewer instances of fixture pileups at the end of the season. Okay, good. Hopefully they fix the Champions League as well. We don't know who you're playing until like a day before on the in the new format, which is coming. Okay, so that's good. Like that's a, I guess that's a fix, right? Attribute changes for stuff. Now this is interesting. Let's open this image up. So coaches, you're now gonna see where coaches have improved. I don't know if you can see it over time. It doesn't seem to be like an over time thing, but you can see like where they've got better based on, I mean, this looks like a pretty good coach to be fair, where they've got better based on, you know, just improving over time. So when you, when you sometimes you get a new coach straight out, you know, maybe your latest Wayne Rooney, although he's going to be Birmingham manager now, Wayne Rooney straight when he finishes playing, his attributes aren't going to be great, but as time goes on, they're going to improve. So that'll be, that'll be interesting. I wonder if they go down as well. These all seem to go up. I'm curious. So yeah, it says it's a, a better insight into their progression. Use system rankings. Now this is new. Are you system ranking? This is quite interesting because I'm planning on doing a build a nation save. If you want to join me from build a nation save, join me over on twitch.tv slash Simagio. Uh, we're going to do a build a nation in Belgium. And this could be interesting for that because it's going to look at the best youth system, the best in your country, indicate where we are, ranks among other top academies. That is going to be really useful. You know, just extra information about the youth academies. Uh, use last system's code of conduct, like last year's code of conduct. So you can just repeat the code of conduct from last year. Um, I don't really set that. I only just suggest it, but. If you don't want to math to manually suggest it every year, that's probably helpful. Accessibility is always good. Uh, everything accessibility is good. I'm not going to go through those, but if there's anything accessibility you're looking for, although I'm, I'm pretty sure the colorblind mode is still not working as intended because it, I think they, it just puts like a sheen of it. If, if you, like, you won't notice this if you're not colorblind, but if you put on the colorblind mode, it makes their faces blue um, and it shouldn't. The faces should stay the same color because when you're colorblind, you still see the faces. You want to see the faces as you see the faces. Um, it should like it should improve the visibility of things like text uh, and, and shirts and things like that. But the face, like keep keep the skin color, the skin color. Like people <laughs> have problem with the skin color. Manager creation improvements. Now this is where things get a little bit weird, and I don't know why they do this. They did this with the watches last. Like who've they got working on this stuff? Really, I guess like hairstyles fine. Face gen improvements. We push the tech as far as it can go before the engine change for FM25. Hopefully the eyes eyes and eyes, well, the eyebrows doesn't look great there. But I mean, that's one of the big areas that I have a problem with is those eyebrows, those eyebrows. I mean, I, I'm not one to talk, am I? Like, but, you know, these eyebrows are a bit from anyway, here is the weirdest of the updates. Look at that face paint. What? What? When have you ever seen a manager have face paint? I like these little lapels, although, again, they are so tiny. The only time you are going to see that is on the start screen, which this is taken from. Right? No, it's from the character creation screen. A little war child pin lapel or a foot manager lapel. I wonder if you'll get like little charity ones as we go through the season. But like, why? Why have they added that? Who? What? Who asked for that? Who? Is that really in the suggestions? Mars said a lot of these come from the suggestions. I can't imagine these come from the suggestions. Are the freckles new? The freckles are good if the freckles are new. And maybe that's a new hairstyle, which is good. Like, you know, but the pin badges? Really? What's up with these buttons as well on this jacket? And face paint? Face paint. New ha hairstyles, texture overhaul, updated existing textures for hairs. New outfits. This must be a new suit. 
face paint, lapel badge, and ability. Ability aids is good, right? I don't mind that. There are some other images here, so let's have a look at those. So, okay, so now you can have a, I mean, this is quite good, I guess, to get things ready before women's football. Like a ring, a necklace, like, you can see these things. Okay, some new skin details by the looks of it. Like a, 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 a what, would, what would you call this? <laughs> oh, no, you can tell I obviously don't use one, a hairband. Like a hairband, I was gonna say a bandana, but uh, a hairband. Let's have a look at the others. I mean, you're probably still still not going to see a hearing aid, right? Like, I, I get like, I get that to more of an extent. Like that earring, no one's ever going to see that earring. What? Why? Why? Are these little new hairstyles. Well, none of these apply for me if I want to make myself. Who has hair like that? I've never seen anyone have hair like that. What is that hairstyle? I mean, some of these hairstyles are mad. They need more like st more standard hairstyles. Why are there so many mad hairstyles? Right. Is there a last one? What's on this last one? T-shirt. I don't know what's different here. T-shirt colors. Oh, there's a little tactical board in the background. Uh, is it the T-shirt? I want to wear the War Child shirt. The FMFC shirt. Is it the colors? You can have more colors. I don't know. Like the watch and the ring. Like you never, ever see it. You never, ever see it. Except for on the star screen. What? Who, who have they got working on this stuff? Reviewing your record against your rivals. This year, you now have the option to select which team you want to see your past results again, rather than just your opponent. Good, next opponent. Okay, that's good. So you can see results. I thought you could do that anyway, but I guess it was only ever next opponent. Uh, and then improvements to the dynamic manager timeline, which is good. So, you know, the dynamic manager timeline, the last year has felt a bit sh pointless. Like most of the stuff on there didn't really make sense. It was a bit bland. You know, put interesting stuff on there, everyone said. So what we got, we got these include, not, not limited to, hopefully, Come from at least three goals behind to win a draw match. That's good. Score a goal in added time to win a draw against your rivals. That's cool. Uh, tight race heads to the wild. Good. Youngest player. So records, records. Beating your rival after a certain number of years. Losing to your rival a certain number of years. Okay. Giving a player an international debut. Okay. Spending a record amount of play. Hopefully these are good. Unless like, hopefully they're not just like, especially if you're an international manager. Like every player you give a debut to. But if they're like a quite good player, they turn out to be. There are also tweaks to the card design, including changes to rare events to better showcase those moments. Oh, okay. Let's have a look at that. To rarer moments this one si trophy tro are these are these rarer like the the title wins is that rarer than the transfer surely a transfer record is rarer that's it that's everything from miles today he did have one the other day let's see if we can quickly grab the one from the other day if it's there is it around here we go this is miles's one from the other day uh, two final bugs quality of life so we've got quality of life on so they're not let's mention anything about draft mode for example so okay so this was outlining what was in that video last week if you've not seen my video on that make sure you go check that out after this one but it's just a bit of clarity about how the game starts with original real world and your world so basically if it's original your players start with the database as it is in, in real life and you just start whatever day you want real world the players join on the dates that they actually join so you will start in first of july but your whatever date is but your players won't join until you let's see see your players chelsea caicedo will join towards the end of july and your world is like you, whatever date you choose so we set out the date your game starts right so only so it depends on what date you choose to start your game at as to how, which players have already moved or not, which will be interesting because you could choose to start like first fixture. I don't know when the start dates are, but you could choose to start like towards the first fixture and already have some of them go through. So we get this new choose a game mode. You can't do this in M MLS. <laughs> Wait, no, you can't make transfers if you choose real life transfer mode. Right. Okay, great. So that's, that's, that's opens up like a whole load of possibilities. We're doing some stuff on the channel here. I'm going to be putting out a video in the next couple of days about my plans for the channel. What here going forward. This, both this channel, the TikTok and the Twitch stream. So make sure you go follow all of those. And I guess by further extent, any other platforms that I'm on Instagram, I'm on there. So what else we've got? A refresh national pool. This is what they showed on the thing. It shows a whole load of extra stuff here where they should be cooling up on dropping players, little feature suggestions, a little, it's a bit like the squad planner, but for the national teams, pretty handy. Uh, update to the squad planner that tells you how good the, the player abilities are and the positional depth, which is pretty handy as well. And also, it also tells you, I don't know if you can see it on this one, if a player is set, this one here, Christian Estrella is actually set to the top player in another position. So it will be like, right, you don't want him to be the top player in this position because he's the top player in another position. The national team squad planner, again, are there, so there, sorry, there is the squad planner for the national team as well as the refresh national pool. I think this is the squad planner for the national team. Interesting that it had it. No, there is a squad planner as well. Okay, interesting. Uh, no training yet, as far as we can tell, on national team. Uh, and more information on negative transfer budgets, you know, financial fair play and things like that. So that's all useful, useful stuff. So that's more on FM24, including including face paint. I don't know who asked for face paint, why we've got face paint. 
whether you're going to be able to see face paint in the game, but we have it. So there we go. Um, if you're excited about FN24, again, make sure you use that code somehow 24 down at Fanatical using the link below. Make sure you use the link below and you will help me out as a creator and you'll get the game cheaper than you will on Steam. I'll be bringing you the second part of this gameplay deep dive. No, this isn't the gameplay deep dive. This is the other one. The what's it called feature roulette whatever he calls it now we're bringing the i'll be bringing you that later in the week but in the meantime i want to go check out the rest of the playlist they might already be up there if you're watching this a bit later check out the rest of the playlist of fm24 features right here there's loads of them there's a little bit about fm25 in there as well so make sure you go check that out and i'll see you guys next time